Hello, and welcome back to SIBO Mistakes. This is the series where I talk about the biggest mistakes that SIBO sufferers are making, and they are keeping you stuck. Stuck with symptoms like bloating, abdominal pain, abdominal distension. Do you get a prego belly that looks like you're nine months pregnant after you eat two Brussels sprouts? Diarrhea, constipation, and maybe a mixed bowel pattern. Maybe you get a little bit of each. If you want to be rid of any of those symptoms in the near future, this is a very important series for you to pay attention to. And I hate to break it to you, but in this video, I'm going to give you a little bit of tough love. You see, the mistake in this video is that you are a psycho. psycho, psycho. No, not like a crazy person psycho. I mean, you're being a psycho killer and you need to chill out. I know what you're talking about in the Facebook forums and the Reddit threads and the YouTube comments. And I know which Instagram ads you're clicking on. And I know what you're buying from Fullscript. You all are obsessed with antimicrobials and antibiotics, and it's got to stop or at least chill out like 80 or 90% of the way. Hopefully that seems like a reasonable compromise. I'm not going to be the meanie pie who tells you you're not allowed to use antimicrobials, but they should not be the thing that you lead with, and they should only make up a small fraction of your overall treatment program. You didn't develop SIBO because you have an antimicrobial deficiency. It's not like you led all of the rest of your life on oregano oil and then one day you stopped and that's what gave you SIBO. You're here for other reasons. There's something about you, your body, your lifestyle choices, your life that caused the SIBO to take a foothold. And that addressing those factors needs to make up the majority of what you do for this condition. Trimming it off with some antimicrobials is just icing on the cake. It's not a major part of this journey. But for whatever reason, my profession and the SIBO world in general has sold that to you, perhaps because it's easy to sell it. You can make money from a product like Rifaximin or an antimicrobial like FC-Cidal and Dysbiocide. And I know that there are links to Fullscript and links to Dr. Ruscio's store and whatever, and it's very easy to purchase those things. And I understand that they can offer quick relief at times to you, but that's all they're gonna ever do. It's a quick relief Band-Aid. They are not the solution. And importantly, what I wanna make a point of saying here is that these things are not without consequence. We have been fed this lie that natural herbal antimicrobials are not the same as prescription antibiotics. They're totally safe and totally without any harmful consequences. And that's a lie. Herbal antimicrobials can and will kill some of your good microbes, especially if you take them at heroic Allison C. Becker style doses, or if you take them for a prolonged period of time. And similarly, we have been fed the story that Rifaximin is totally safe and perfect because it doesn't end up in the colon. It all gets reabsorbed. It only has action in the small intestine. And therefore, it's totally without ill-intended consequence. And you are free to take that as much as your little heart desires. And that is incorrect. There are good microbes that can get killed in the small intestine. So colon, totally aside, if we want to prevent the deepening of dysbiosis in the small intestine, we should probably be a little bit more cautious with rifaximin too. So. Here we are having this conversation about you being a psycho killer up to this point. Well, what is the alternative, right? If you have only ever known this version of the SIBO story, if you've only ever known the quantity side of SIBO, you have this many bacteria and you need this many, so we need to subtract, we need to kill, we need to starve. It might be really overwhelming and confusing and daunting for you to think of any other framework. So if that's the case, if this, if this video is only getting you so far and you don't know where to go from here, I would encourage you to check out FODMAP Freedom in 90 days. FODMAP Freedom is my group coaching program where I teach you a different way to look at the situation. I teach you about the things about you, your body, your life, your lifestyle that let the SIBO occur in the first place. And I teach you how to remedy those as naturally and holistically as possible and with as few pills and as few harmful side effects as humanly possible. So if you want to do something different, if you're ready for a change and you're ready to get rid of these symptoms that you've been struggling with, I hope I get to meet you inside FODMAP Freedom really soon.